Today we're gonna make a modern cocktail, the revolver. For this drink, you're gonna need a Nick and Nora glass, a measuring cup, a bar spoon, a Hawthorne strainer, a mixing glass, a cutting board and a small knife, and matches. This drink uses bourbon, coffee liqueur, orange bitters, and a flamed orange peel for garnish. In the books, James Bond was a big whiskey drinker. In particular, he loved scotch and bourbon. And his whiskey consumption was only rivaled by that of his coffee consumption. He liked all kinds of coffee. Espresso, iced coffee, strong hot black coffee, Irish coffee, you name it. But Irish coffee wasn't the only time he combined whiskey and coffee. In the living daylights, Bond washed down his breakfast with a mug of hot coffee spiked with whiskey. And in For Your Eyes Only, he made a concoction of three parts bourbon, one part coffee. He packed it in a thermos and took it with him on an assassination mission. At one point, he referred to his mixture as fire water and coffee. He drank it a couple times during the mission, and even cleaned a bullet wound with it after the fighting had stopped. However, room temperature three to one bourbon and coffee is not a great drink. Luckily, a similar and much better version of this combination called the Revolver was created 43 years later. The cocktail was invented in 2003 by John Santer, renowned Bay Area bartender and founder of Prizefighter. The drink was originally made with bullet bourbon and Tia Maria coffee liqueur, but I like using my favorite coffee liqueur, the St. George Nola coffee liqueur. It's not nearly as sweet as most coffee liqueurs, so the resulting cocktail is not quite as sweet as originally intended. Feel free to make it how you like it, but I prefer it this way. Bullet, the original bourbon used in the revolver, is what's known as a high rye bourbon. This will end up giving the bourbon a bit of a spicier character than ones made with a lower percentage of rye. And it's a lot spicier than a weeded bourbon. Luckily, Old Grandad is also a high rye bourbon that has a very similar mash bill to Bullet. And because it was one of his favorites, Old Grandad is my go-to bourbon for Bond drinks. The Revolver is basically a Manhattan with coffee liqueur in place of the sweet vermouth, a fact that John Santa readily admits. He wanted to make a drink that could be replicated, and that was made with familiar ingredients. It's a spirit-forward drink with a full complex flavor that's suited for enjoyment, as opposed to Bond's version which is better suited for sterilizing open wounds. Let's start by chilling our glass, fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next we're going to measure two ounces of bourbon, add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of coffee liqueur, add that to the mixing glass. Then give it a dash of orange bitters. Add ice, and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice and water from your Nick and Noir glass. Then strain the contents of your mixing glass into your chilled cocktail glass. Slice a good hunk of orange peel. It's actually better in this case to leave a layer of white pith on the back, because it'll make it sturdier when it comes time to flame it. If you're using matches, strike your match and let the sulfur burn off. Warm the skin of the orange peel with the flame and give it a good hard pinch to express the oils over the drink. Rub the peel along the rim of the glass and plop it in the drink for garnish. And there you have it. The Revolver. A drink that Bond would have loved. Cheers. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.